So now let's discuss question number four. Mitochondria and chloroplast they have DNA as well as ribosome so they can make proteins. So some of the proteins they are formed by mitochondria and chloroplast so they are not fully dependent on nuclear DNA. So what do you call such type of nature as? You call this nature as semi-autonomous. So first option is correct. Now moving to the second one. They are formed by division of pre-existing organelles, yes, yes they are formed by the binary fission of mitochondria as well as the chloroplast, right and they do not contain, they, they, and they contain DNA, yes that's also very true but they lack protein synthesizing machinery wrong they have ribosomes which are involved in the protein synthesis it means b option is wrong here so which is the right answer here option number four a is true and b is false so answer is four question for the question number four so now let's discuss question number five here Now which of the following statement is not associated with the plasmid? Let's say this is a bacterial cell. In the bacterial cell this is main DNA. Yes, let's say it is main DNA. Right, double stranded DNA. Along with the main DNA there is presence of extra DNA which is small size. Right. So this extra small size DNA, this is going to represent plasmid, you call it as extra chromosomal DNA. Now let's see this option here, plasmids they can be easily transferred from one bacteria to the other with the help of the conjugation tube. Third option, they are circular, right? Yes, plasmids they show autonomous replication that is for the replication they are not dependent on the main DNA. So this is also correct. Now first option single stranded wrong they have double stranded DNA. So it means for the question number five the right answer is option number one. So now let's discuss question number six here. 